and uh, as always, Fiji set to make the most noise. They always do, don't they? The Fijian fans, they are such a wonderful travelling troop of rugby fans around the world. Locals also turning up as well as New Zealand and Fiji hit the field to play. This is mouth-watering stuff, Shawnee. It is, and the starting Fijian lineup, you now mucking around here from Coach Gareth Baber with what he's brought to the pitch. It is Jerry Tuai out in the middle. He'll start this one. Meli Derenalangi in there, as well as cutting on it, Nasoko. Talinga and Sirelli Mangala, who was wonderful with a couple of tries yesterday in that win for Fiji against Australia and New Zealand. Well, they're stacked always, and here's how they look. Yep, Tonin Nashu was wonderful for the Kiwis yesterday, and as we saw the, the Fijians, looking forward to seeing Mangala add to his tally today. He had some wonderful touches and scored some brilliant tries. All right. New Zealand v Fiji. Kia to those of you watching on over in NZ via Sky Sports NZ. Bulavanaka to those of you in the islands watching your men do their thing from Townsville. NZ v Fiji. They are at it again. And they go shallow with the kickoff New Zealand. It sits up here for Dixon, who will captain the side against Fiji. No Scott Curry across days one or two just yet. The incumbent and that man takes charge. Well, it's going to be an exciting match. Like you said in the intro today, Shawnee, this is the match of the tournament so far and Rio gold medalists against probably the Tokyo Five. contenders. Set. Yeah, no question. Two sides that will be there at the business end in under a month's time. Penalty Fiji. Too high. Sets his men alight and the footwork is brilliant on the outside and Fiji will take it away and it'll be Mangala again for Fiji. I spoke about Mangala day one and you could just see there the speed of him out wide. Fiji is so dangerous. They just keep the ball alive. You give them the ball at a set piece, you're in trouble. And we saw it there again. Just able to attract the Kiwi defenders, opening up some space. And Jerry Tuai, experience of him able to put his man easily through a gap. The experienced Kiviote Talinga with a power fade. That one goes in the right direction for Fiji and they make it a 7-0 lead early. You can see here the smart quick tap and just released his speed stuff. Little skip step there, the ball in two hands. You don't know they, if they're going to pass it, kick it, or run. And when you're that fast, you've got to watch out. He'll be running. Here's the chase from Darren Alangi. Taken well, though, up high from Vai. Dixon goes quick cross to Clark. He was excellent yesterday. New sub using that far channel. It's Nashu. Nashu, just short of halfway. Penalty New Zealand now, not releasing the call against Fiji. And They'll just take a moment and go to their set piece, which is a feature of their game. I look to touch. New sub lines it up, knocks it away, and we'll have a line out. New Zealand a throw. Yeah, it just gives them so many options off the line out here. They're able to really spread their attacking line out wide. You can see the winger coming out to kiss the paint on this left-hand side just spreads that Fiji defensive line and creates holes for this New Zealand side. Not many do it better than New Zealand at the line out. What can they create here? Down by seven. By the front. Nice and clean for New Sub. There's a late switch for Ware. Looking for the wrap around. It gets loose on Fiji. Sweep in. Scoop it up and spin it away. Fiji just clipped to Linga. Pops well from the floor. In turn, Newsup rips it away in contact. Brilliant from Andrew Newsup. And now New Zealand line up well down this left-hand side. Clark calling for it. Clark gets a chance to open up, but the defence is good. They drop him just shy halfway. It was Wanningoro. 
with the tackle. New stub, new stub, looking for the bite there from Massey, and now he gets through. New stub chasing Dixon on the right or to the left is Nashu. Nashu looks to the outside. Clark had gone in, and Fiji defend well. Just a little bit of lack of communication there, and it's probably that continuity not having played games together recently. Still trying to find where their teammates are running, the lines they like to, to take. And it's the pressure of the Fijians just making you throw that extra pass that close to your sideline. Two eye with the throw. Here <laughs> comes Massey. Two eye on the wraparound. Just bouncing it across the face there of Talinga. Now the alignment for Massey. Massey. Dixon holds on down low, does well. Gerna Lange from the four. Over to Talinga. Two eye out wide, almost getting through. Desperate tackle made there by Ware. Gerna Lange looping that one. Big skip ball, trying to free some space to the right. Does so, pass forward though, we're heading back. That's Fiji, they love the offload going into contact and getting their arms free so they can release the ball. Just that extra bit of physicality in the hit by the New Zealand defence there was able to jolt that ball forward. The Mangala just letting it go. Pretty, pretty forward. <laughs> yeah, it was. It did travel forward, didn't it? You've noticed just a little bit of extra sting in the Kiwi defence in this last couple of minutes. McGarvey Black setting up in behind the scrum here. New sub with the feed. Finds McGarvey Black who goes short in turn to where connects here with Nashu. Nashu rolling through the middle. He makes it 7 5. It's about to be locked up. Well, that's been a feature of New Zealand this tournament. Off the set piece, getting their big men running hard lines in at that defence. And it wasn't. A simple try, there was still some offloads and some powerful running. Ten seconds. You said it there, Jem. It's the power of Nashu, isn't it? Straight, hard, he bumped off one, two, try time. Yeah, as you can see here, really hitting back on that short line, caught the Fiji in the fence and the offload, and then he still had two to beat. He just, just used his hips, didn't he, to great effect there. Hard to tackle, hard to stop. 30 seconds to go till half time. As expected, this matchup delivering. New Zealand v Fiji, new start with the restart. Go Shelley, looking here for Dixon. Gets up, gets a shot on, but then it's ripped away in contact. It will fall for Fiji. To Ivoaka. Takes three to put him down. Now hold it up here for Massey. Massey gets into the backfield. The chase is good, though, from New Zealand. Can they shut him down? He'll have too much in the tank. And Fiji will lead at the break. They make you pay, Fiji. And they do this all the time, right before halftime. They put another try on the board to keep their noses in front, keep the pressure on New Zealand. Really smart work at the ruck by the Fijians, knowing the ball was called here and that he couldn't get himself to ground, so he released the ball. And that's why they're so dangerous. The ball's on the ground. They can just pick up and create. 14-7 at the break. Fiji are up. Okay, one big thing on defense, okay, is our right tackle. 
Okay. When they get to the middle of the field, New Stubb's standing there just trying to pull that short side back and play both sides of it. That's where we've got to be. Tight amongst each other. Give them the outside. <laughs> Don't worry about that. And then we can go and play. But getting up from that rope, we've got to be on side set. Yeah. So massive Dallano when we come back there to know that they're going back set. Yeah. Yeah. Happy? Yeah. Yeah. On attack. Play our game. Good, Massey, pick them off. Okay. Great go forward. We get a bit of go forward. They'll stick numbers in. That's when the free kicks and penalties, we can pick up the drawn draw again. Set? Yeah. Yeah. Big effort on these kickoffs. We've got to get something back. Duta, excellent on the last one. Spot on. Okay. Who's what's the next job? Win the, ball. Win the ball off this kickoff and we keep the pressure. Keep the ball, we keep the pressure. Subs on as well. Yeah, set? Set. <laughs> So good to hear the voices inside those huddles. That was Fijian coach Gareth Baber delivering the message to his men who, for the first time in 16 months since Vancouver, 2020 get a chance to play against New Zealand they've been in isolation over in Fiji for a couple of months in the lead up to coming here to Australia they've been quarantining down on the Gold Coast for a few weeks and now they get a chance to do it out in the middle and are up by seven against NZ Tulinga with a restart Darren Alungi gives chase that doesn't go the 10 and back to halfway we head for the free kick It was nearly spot on that restart, probably centimetres in it. But it gives New Zealand an opportunity to hit back straight away in this second half. Damon Murphy himself off to Tokyo in a couple of weeks. Got a couple of test matches to look after ahead of that too, Swaney. Yeah, looking after New Zealand Tonga before heading to Tokyo. So congratulations to Damon. Certainly be one of the up and coming rising stars of the refereeing ranks in this part of the world. And good to see him getting some test rugby under his belt also. Five, set. New stub feeds it. It's a good weight from Fiji, but New Zealand hang on and release Clark. Clark drags two with. Penalty advantage here for New Zealand. Dixon, nice ball. Benashu, his team's sole try scorer, looking to link on the outside. Drop just short of the 22. Quick for Vi. In the middle is Mugabe Black. Late delay, switch, freeze up. Where? Where has slick feet and holds it, but then gets nailed from behind. It was a blindside shot, and he's playing on the ground. The penalty goes against New Zealand. There's some feeling in these games. They haven't had that physicality in the competition in so long. I think they're all enjoying the challenge. It's a big hit by the Fijians off the, off the blind, able to disrupt that ball, dislodge it from a, from a runner who didn't see it coming. Yeah, there definitely is some sting in the defence. We saw it in the first game as well. And a bit of spice out there to kick off day two. It's hot in the atmosphere, hot on the field. Conditions that will be replicated over in Tokyo, no doubt. Part of the reason that we are in this part of the world to see this return. International 7 says 2i going to Tulinga in the middle. 2i goes on the wraparound, but Fiji cut back through the middle. And here is Tuivaka. Pops well in contact. that has gone backwards out of the hand. That's play on for Fiji. And now the grubber in behind the pickup. Will it sit for Fiji? Where? Quick to get back with Fiji. Take the moment and go in. And would you believe it? It is that man again, Sureli Mangala. Yes, typical Fiji. Just keeping the ball alive. Questioning the New Zealand defence over and over again. When a tackle's made in sevens against Fiji, the ball's not dead. You have to get up again and again and again. And really great skills by Mangala there. Put it on the toe, control it. Such skill here. And 
know that he had the patience and the skill to just wait for the time and then he could pounce on that ball. Time's off, hold. They're a tricky team to defend because they just keep it alive. Well, Fiji coach Gareth Babers going to need a whole bunch of aspirin when it comes to deciding on his final squad for Tokyo. The emergence of Mangala, Nathungu, Lapa, Tuai, all very similar in terms of what they can do. There's Ware, speaking of guys who are loaded with good feet and skills, takes it past halfway. Collier, given a chance late in this one. Across to Jais, and now they work it to the far side. McGovey Black. New stub. Warbrick. Good yesterday. Getting close to that touchline. Does a great job of keeping it alive for his team. There's a Fijian player down midfield. New Zealand seven on six. Collier. Can they convert? New sub. Bullets it across the park. The feet are brilliant from Mugabe Blake. He then sends it wide to Jaius, who cuts back through. And we are heading down to the wire as New Zealand claw back five. Yeah, just with that extra man there with one down, injured. Fiji had their work cut out. They scrambled well to, to stop one attacking raid, but just too, too relentless, the Kiwi men and they were able to just spot a little hole in that defensive line throw a dummy they're hard to handle you can see here they managed to stop that first attacking raid but just holding the ball up showing it to that new zealand defender who created the space for his man to go untouched under the posts Now pops to Ivuaka. He doesn't look a hundred. Tell you what, it takes a decent shot to put that bloke down, and he's been caught somewhere. Looks like he's off for a HIA. Gives the neck a little wiggle, and for the conversion on the board, we are back to a seven point game. We have two to play. New stub. Floats that one beautifully. Great work from New Zealand. Up high as well. It was Collier who knocked it back. Nicole, first receiver. Sends it down at the feet there of Rock Lasol. But Fiji, we're offside. A new sub goes quick. On they come, New Zealand. It's nice and quick as well for the men in black. Nicole, lovely hands. Rock Lasoa, we're going to kick his way past Nanduva, who just hangs on. Still got Warbrick loose on the outside. Here. Warbrick trying to get there, and I think he's rolled it in. I think somehow he stayed in the field of play to get it down. Yeah, they're going to have a look at it. We sure have. Murph, just having a look, thank you, try yes or no. It looked good live. Yeah, Murph. You can award the try. And the try is good for NZ. Well, it was some good lead up play by the New Zealand men. Really strong clean outs over the ruck to get rid of the Fijian threats. And then just some spa a tiny bit of space really out wide. Fiji did well to cover across and try and disrupt the try. But an amazing effort. They're just so athletic being able to stay in that field of play. Well, this is quite brilliant from Warbrick to find the ground, pull that mitt back in and then roll his way over laterally across the line. Conversion is away. 21-19 the score inside the final minute we head. Karoy deeper though. This time with the restart. Fiji take. Oh no. Obstruction's the call. Obstruction the call against Fiji. 
30 seconds left now. New Zealand called for the scrum originally. In pops Villamoni Kuroi, and he looks to touch. It's going to be a tough ask here for Fiji. New Zealand are always such strong finishers. They play to the very end. Probably one last opportunity here. Potentially the gold medal match in Tokyo this. New Zealand v Fiji. Seven seconds to go. The throw's good from New Zealand. They keep it tight. They look to maul it. Fiji commit bodies as well. Rockula Sora in the middle. Penalty vantage for New Zealand. Over to Warbrick again. And the has to rush up and shut down the angle and shut down the power runner. Boys, I can't play Penalty back here and try this. Back we head. It'll be some kind of comeback for New Zealand. They were down 21 points to seven. And they won't get a better part of the field to launch one final raid against Fiji. They're going to kick. Are they going to take the three? They are. They'll take the three. In comes Kuroi for the match winner, and it is away right. Fiji, hold on. I don't believe it. It's a miss from right in front for the match winning penalty goal. And it's away full time. Fiji 21.